Sylvan, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. I would rather avoid a needless death if it comes down to it. You can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. Very well. Are we getting, like, black market Pokemon right now? Excuse me, please. For a ruthless monster, he's kind of courteous. So, you two are in need of a Pokemon. Yes, sir. I see. That man that was in here just now, he was one of my colleagues in university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of one of the cults and is responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. Uh, a cult leader? Those people are evil, Professor. You shouldn't be talking to them, let alone be accepting gifts from them. We're about to accept the gifts from them. Tell me, Damien. Priest, have you ever heard of a Delta Pokemon? Delta Pokemon. Technically, yes. They are from the Pokemon card game, if I'm not mistaken. They're... I don't know what the difference is. So we'll say no, just to give everybody a, 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 an explanation of them. Me neither. Then allow me to explain. Please. He's thinking about how to explain this. Delta Pokemon were based on an idea scientists had about Pokemon a while ago. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Oh. They're Pokemon that have a different type than they normally would. Oh, that's cool. A good example would be an electric type Dragonite or a water type Porygon. Oh, cool. These Pokemon that were given to me, these are Delta Pokemon. I'm not sure what type they are, but they seem to be genetic experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Oh, neat! So we get, like, I get, like, a Fire Bulbasaur? That's cool. They're scientific marvels. Letting a Delta species Pokemon die would be terrible to me. Now, I normally would not... I normally would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start you off on your journey... However, it seems there are three more options for you to choose from. These Delta Pokemon that the cult leader gave me. Well, nobody wants a freak for a Pokemon. I can't imagine that most trainers would want to be friends with a Delta Pokemon. Yeah, it sounds cool. Think of the benefits. Think of the benefits. A Pokemon that will never know friendship is a sad, sad thing indeed. So I will offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to be your companion. I only want to keep one to study. If you are not interested in using one of these Pokemon, you can have the Eevee I normally reserve for trainers. So you have four options, one of the three Deltas or Eevee. If you want the Eevee, simply talk to me. Otherwise, choose your Pokeball. I'm going for a Delta Dog. You can have that Eevee. Priest, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of mutant Pokemon made by a murderer. <laughs> what? But I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left all alone forever. You can pick, but hurry up. We don't know where the auger is, when the auger is arriving. I still have auto run on, which is kind of funny. Yeah, let me see these Pokemons. Let me see these Pokemons. Oh, fairy and psychic type Delta Bulbasaur. Wow. I can only imagine the possibilities. The thing is that I don't know like what their move set is. Ghost and Dragon, Delta Charmander. What's cool, though, is that these pairings are great. They're so great. Ooh, what's that over there? Something hidden. This is Dark and Fighting Squirtle. Oh, my gosh. Um, so me knowing what I know about the mechanics of Pokemon is that Fairy has some of the best defenses in the game. But I also know that Ghost and Dragon type have the least amount of weaknesses. Hmm. So that's a great... I think that's a great starter. My usual go-to starter when I play any Pokemon game that offers these three is usually Bulbasaur, which is why I want to go for Bulbasaur. But this is a whole different ball game because I don't know what these... These Delta... These Delta's movesets are. So I'm going to take this Ghost and Dragon Charmander. Look how cool he is! Freaking Bone... The Bone Mander. I almost wanted to call him Bone Mander. I'm going to call him Bone Mander. That's funny. I'm sure I'm not the first person to do so. Ah, uh, yeah, but see... Nah, I'm going to leave it undone. I'm just going to leave him Charmander. Because I don't want him to be Bone Mander all the way through... Um... Charmeleon and Charizard, because then he's just Bone Mander, a Charizard, which is silly. Priest, I think you're right. Thanks. 
I think you're right too, Damien. Just because they were created by an evil murderer, well, it's not the fault of the Pokemon, is it? So, I decided to choose a Delta Pokemon like you. You rival son of a... Hey, Priest, before we go out into the Shade Forest, how about a battle? You rival son of a... You... What did you pick? You picked the fighting... The fire... Was it firefighting squirrel? It'll be the perfect time to test our new Pokemon. Let's go! I'm kind of excited to see these movesets. I mean, level 5, I'm sure it doesn't have many. That Squirtle does look cool. Alright, what do we got? Oh, a Twister, a Dragon-type move off the bat. That's cool. And so that little blue symbol next to them... Uh, is the Delta symbol that I, I'm almost certain they used in the card game. Holy cow! I don't have anything better. And my Twister's not, it's not so much that it's less effective. He's gonna whomp me, I can't believe this. I don't know that I've ever actually lost an opening match before. But, looks like that's about to happen. Maybe? Oh, he flinched! <gasps> it worked! That was a close one. Let me get that EXP. 75. That's enough for a level? No. His was, was his level 5 and mine was level 7? Damien, I'd swap that out. <laughs> I have a way better Pokemon than you. Level 7. Wow, you're a great battler! Do you think maybe you, you could take on a gym someday? Yeah, I'm gonna take on three of them, Damien. I'm about to wreck those gyms. And then I'm gonna own all three of them. Somebody's gonna have to go to each individual gym and wait for me to get to each of my gyms. Here's the deal. I'm going to head north into Shade Forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave. And in the middle of that cave is the rare stone we're looking for. Head into the forest and into the cave. I'll meet you there. I'm gonna forget this because I read it so fast. Dude, can I have that extra Pokemon? Can I have that Eevee? The man that was in here today was the lead. Oh, the man that was in here today was the leader of perfection, one of the five cults of the Torn region, the cult that has their name game down. Because if he was, because he was so willing to spare the lives of Pokemon, you might think he's not such a bad person. No, he's at least a cult. Of course, he's bad. I get it. But you have to understand, the cult do not value human life. They are responsible for the deaths of thousands, millions. Billions! Overestimating their kindness is a mistake that could lead to your death. Just sending you fair warning. Okay, got it. Beware the cults. They are not something to underestimate. Now, that being said, I have a gift for you. Oh, Damien left. He couldn't get a gift. Obtain the Pokedex. Damien's walking around without a Pokedex. That's, he doesn't even know he's going to be a Pokemon guy yet. He's just trying to please his stepmom. Got it. Got the Pokedex. Hooray. Got that Pokedex. The script is taking too long. The game will restart. If this crash occurred during a battle, it would seem as if your computer cannot run the animated sprite for the Pokemon being brought out. If this happens again, consider reverting it to a static version. If this crash occurred while going online or looking for MGIFs, the server may be down. Would you like to save? Do not save your fighting against a non-repeatable encounter such as a legendary. I'm going to save. That's good. So my game crashed. Because the script is hanging. It's in beta. Give it some give it some time. I'm gonna end it here. I've played more than long enough. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the game, do a quick search and find them on Reddit and give it a shot because so far I'm in love with it. I think it's the best freaking thing that's ever happened. So please support them, leave them a comment as well, and let them know if you like the game. If you wanna see more, let me know. I will see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>